John, uh, another um, another comfortable win, um, another another great performance, um, another game where the other team didn't really um, lay a glove on you. No, we're delighted with the effort of the players, the commitment of the players, the quality of the play. Right from the start of the game, we're on top. Uh, created so many chances, put some great balls across the face of the goal, even for the first minute, a great ball across. And, uh, Ross McIver was right in at the front post area, their lads actually catching him on the face, trying to clear it. Uh, and again, no long after that, there was another one. We end up hitting the post three times in the first half. So the post, you mentioned it last week actually, Adam, about the post. Well, we've hit it three times, you know, today. Uh, delighted, Alfie, coming in from that left side on his right foot. Exactly what we're looking for in that position. Coming inside on your right foot, stronger foot, and whipping it into that faraway corner. So delighted to get that goal on the back of a number of chances. And after that, again, number of chances. Goalkeepers made some really good saves, one in particular towards the end of the half from a header from Tom Lang, an amazing save. And then he's continued to do it in the second half. The goalkeeper has certainly had three worldies there. He's kept the score down. I think our play deserved us to score more goals. I was delighted at the start of the second half that uh, Aidan Nesbitt played a great ball through for Callum Morrison. He's gone through and, he, and he's finished it off. So it was a perfect start to the second half. We then, you know, lay siege on the, you know, the Edinburgh goal. Uh, but the goalie's been making a great save for Brad. Oh, I mean, there was two or three great saves for Leon McCann, a brilliant save down low to his left. There was a, another one, and then you know they defended very well throughout the game. They put their body in the line, they blocked things, uh, and that's what's kept the score down because you know we deserve to win by a few more goals today because I, I honestly feel that our players deserve that for the the effort and the commitment and the actual play that we put in tonight to today. Uh, they deserve to win by more, but you know we take it and we, we move on. Yep, um, like you said, job done today, um, but. A good day all around, results elsewhere um, going in our favour as well. Um, Hamilton got a, a draw against Stirling Albion, so right now that puts us top of the league on, on goal difference. Yeah, well it's nice to be there, but it's no at the stage where we're looking at other teams dropping points and so far to go, eh? So far to go, I don't think we're at that stage, it's very early. We're just pleased with the way that we're playing. We're playing uh, you know, a, a nice, daily, attractive attacking football. It was good to get the subs on, you know, it's been a very warm day here today, it was really good for the fans, a, a big thank you to all the fans that came along here today and gave the team's great backing, but it was very warm and so I just felt we were tiring that little bit, we had to make the three changes and I thought that we got to grip it again after that and it was nice to get uh, young Scott Honeyman on the pitch and then very, very late in the game when Leon came off, having to do a little bit of shuffle with Liam Henderson going to left back, Yatesy going into midfield and then Leighton going on at right back, so we managed to get later on the pitch as well today, so five subs coming on, everyone playing their parts, which is what we're going to need. Uh, so all in all, yeah, a good day. You mentioned Leon coming off, he was down getting some treatment for a wee while, is everything okay with him? A dead leg, you know, a dead leg, uh, which is very early to, to tell whether he'll be available for Tuesday night or not. We have a game on Tuesday night against Ayr in the Challenge Cup, it's not a priority for us, you know, we may freshen things up, maybe, you know, start with the guys that have been on the bench and we still have to have a, a little bit of think about that, but, uh, you know, we, uh, we'll go there and as I say, the Challenge Cup's not the, a priority for us. We'll do, our, we'll do our best in the game. If we win, great, fantastic. If we don't, you know, we're not going to lose any sleep over it because uh, the league is a priority. We've got a little bit of a break now until we play Queen of the South at home. So we'll be uh, planning and preparing for that as soon as we get away for uh, playing Air United.